So I'm just going to tell you how to, or walk you through, how to set up this great little aquarium, which is a Shrimp Set 20 from Aquarelle, which is a completely European product, very high quality and very cheap to buy. There's also a Shrimp Tank 10 and a Shrimp Tank 20 and a Shrimp Tank 30. So the Shrimp Tank 30 in particular is great for fish and then the Shrimp Tank 10 and 20 is commonly used for fighting fish um, and shrimp of course or any very small fish you have. So when you go to set this aquarium up you take it out of the box and you'll find a little box inside and, and inside the box you'll find these little triangles which simply clip onto the top of the aquarium and they're the lid supports and then on the bottom you'll find the same thing again but the ones on the bottom will have little double sided tape on it so you just pull off the bits of double sided tape and stick them on the bottom and then that's going to um, cre create your base and this is going to create your top for the lid you then can unwrap the lid which is stuck into the aquarium itself and pop the lid onto the top of the aquarium um, you can get the heater out of the box and pop the heater in the tank you will need to purchase a thermometer to put into the aquarium and with these heaters, these heaters admit 25 degrees um, so they're not a heater that you can change the setting, it's set at 25 degrees and in summer, depending where you live, you don't need the heater on so I tend to turn it off then as it starts to get colder, I'll turn the heater back on again then you just get the filter and when you get the filter, you just slide the suction caps onto the back of the filter and in this picture they show you the filter with the head angled down I absolutely insist that you put the head up and then you stick the, f the filter into the aquarium itself and you make sure that little um, spout is aimed up because I want quite a lot of surface agitation on the top of the aquarium because that's where you get your oxygen it also comes with an optional venturi and you can use the venturi and here's the Venturi displayed on the side of the box. I'm not a fan of Venturis personally because I hate the sound that goes So if you don't mind that sound, the Venturi is good for giving oxygen to the water. So here's displayed how to put the heater in. There's displayed how to put the filter in. Except I would normally take the Venturi off and aim the, the outlet up. So I'm getting surface agitation. Then it's just a matter of clipping the light onto the aquarium. The light is completely waterproof, so if you do put the light under the aquarium, under the water, it's no problem, or if you do touch it with wet hands, it's no problem. And if you do want to replace the light after 18 months or two years or whatever, because the light will reduce intensity and spectrum over time, so you just clip the light out of the socket, and then you can buy a replacement light. And the light does come with the cord and the switch because it's all waterproof so it's all built in and then you just get the new one and then clip it back in which is quite simple so once you've actually done those bits and pieces then it's just a matter of putting some gravel in your aquarium any ornaments you might want in the aquarium fill the aquarium up run the heater run the filter and then put a thermometer in to make sure that your temperature gets to 25 degrees then you add your water age your kh powder and depending on the fish you want, maybe a little bit of aquarium salt and away you go. Then when it's time to clean the aquarium I usually try and make sure I've got sucker mouth catfish like Placostomus or Bristlenose so I don't have to clean the glass but if I don't I might just use a bit of polyfilter and wipe down the inside of the glass then I'll at least once every two weeks to once a month I'll do a water change and I'll remove just a little bit of water using a gravel clean depending on the substrate I've got and then I'll prepare some new water add some water ages, some KH powder and some um, aquarium salt to the new water let that sit for a while and then top the aquarium back up again and it's really important that when you do clean your filter you pop that little sponge off and you clean the filter in water you've drained out of the fish tank never water from the tap because you want to grow good bacteria in the filter and the tap water will often contain chlorine which will often kill the good bacteria and inside the pump there's a little impeller so you can just pop that out and clean the little housing inside give the impeller a good clean and pop it back on and away you go so it's a very cost economical beautiful little bench top tank really worth having a look at but anyway that's how you look after it mm -hmm.